Hi Ryan, would you mind uh, telling us uh, your full name first and uh, what is it that you do? So, uh, uh, Ryan Jensen and I'm a composer and engineering researcher. I've uh, worked in applications like uh, aerospace fluid, dyna fluid dynamics and, uh, and processing of fluid dynamics signals and so on. Um, and this project is a much more, uh, a project that's in touch with nature and music. Uh, the hydrophone is just a musical instrument that runs in water and one of the first in the world that you've been building uh, that does such a thing. Vibrations that are actually produced initially in water rather than in another medium or rather than just water kind of being sort of associated with the sound. Here, it's fundamentally vibrations of water. Uh, so if you took this instrument and threw it in a swimming pool, pushed it to the bottom of the pool and put your ear in the water, you'd actually hear more of its uh, natural sound. Um, and this work is, is kind of at the, the nexus of uh, science and art um, because there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of fundamental research that goes on to this, but also in, uh, in building these things, it's, it's kind of a process where the, uh, the artistic side informs the engineering of this. In engineering also forms the, the, the artistic side where you realize okay, th this is the spacing of piping inside this instrument that we can get uh, close enough together. And that actually really affects the type of music, the style of music that has up being played. And uh, this kind of instrument is, um, these hydrophones are extremely expressive. And you can actually play things, uh, play, make sounds on hydrophones that you can't make on any other musical instrument because uh, part, partly it's the expressivity. Uh, embouchure is something that usually is described with wind instruments, so you take a flute. Embouchure is just the relationship between the mouth and the mouthpiece of the, uh, the flute, the flute player. Well, here it's the finger on the water jet, and so you get this rich expression by very, very carefully moving your finger around the, the turbulence, the, the, the flow of the water, and you can gradually learn and get a feel for how to make it go microtonal. Some people say it sounds like the call of the loon in the wilderness when, it, when the sound, when the pitch goes a little bit flat, like that. And so there's this wonderful, mournful quality to the sound. And since there's a separate pipe inside the instrument for each note, for each water jet, uh, you can play chords, very rich chords. wash of sound where you have one chord that blends into another and you can't actually define when one ended and the next began. So there's this whole musical style that goes out of this. So, so for example, yeah, in, in this excerpt from Sweet for Hydraulophone that I wrote for, uh, for Hydraulophone and Orchestra, you get that sense. That's fantastic. It's very unique sound. It's I've never heard quite the same sound before. Uh, I, am I right in saying that you can't really mimic that kind of sound with any other instrument? 
Well, you can you can approach this kind of sound on hydrophone. Um, one example is a, a tracker organ. So some organs, let me show you about organ. Um, uh, the kind of sound that you can make on hydrophone is a full sort of orchestral sound where you, you, you almost have a whole ensemble of, of wind instruments or flutes, let's say, at your fingertips, all independently moving in and out. So this huge uh, wash of sound that, that is independently realizable. And you can't get that on other instruments that exist. Um, some people say, well, uh, organ, if you have a certain kind of organ, a tracker action organ, you get a tiny amount of that effect, where in the keys of the organ, uh, which is a small point at which uh, the, the action sort of, you can, if you can get the feel for it, you can get a little bit of expressivity instead of just not sounding or not sounding. And here, on the hydrophone, you can get that uh, much more intensely. Um, and, and, and fully realized. So, so, so if you, you can play this instrument in a very boring way. Uh, so take a note, and you can you can you can either play the note or not play the note. So fully block the water jet and, and cause the sound, or forces the water pressure pressure inside the instrument into the sounding plate, uh, or not play it. But the magic happens when you learn to start partly putting your finger on the water jet, and you get this really rich. really rich sound that you can't achieve on other instruments. You can barely start to achieve it on, on a tractor action organ, but, but it's, 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 there's something about this intimate uh, interaction uh, as well with hydrophone that, that, that isn't found. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's partly because uh, you have this intimate connection between um, the human being, the player, and the instrument. Uh, so, so Going back to this cyborg uh, interaction, where um, where rather than being completely disconnected experience, it's an experience where you're almost tied to the instrument as one being, and uh, you you have such a connection that uh, you uh, hear what you're saying, you're playing, you hear what you're playing, you uh, feel what you're playing, and you also see what you're playing. If you play it expressively, you can learn to to recognize certain kinds of splashes in the air when someone else is playing and you can, you can recognize, oh, they're playing in that certain way. And uh, and you want that with such, with almost this kind of... It's just this, this, this very wide sound you want, you, you want to be able to always very intimately be connected to the instrument. So I just uh, sort of remember that Steve was talking about do tanks rather than think tanks. So why don't you just play something nice rather than talk about it. I think it's the best way to carry forward the idea of it. Well, this, this piece uh, is written normally for cello and uh, piano, or sometimes for the piano. Um, it's written by Gabriel Fauré. So uh, you normally need two instruments, one of them to provide uh, arpeggios, many notes at different times, as well as another instrument to play very expressively. But what we can do, what I've done here is, this is an arrangement of the piece only for one instrument, the hydraulic
That's a Newfoundland folk song, actually. So let's clean this instrument off. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, yeah. You can get lots of you get lots of interesting uh, effects that, that that get incorporated into some of these uh, orchestral compositions that I do, or sometimes solo uh, pieces of Pedro.